After close to 10 years of doing calisthenics and looking for ways to strengthen both my grip and my forearm, uh, having tried a bunch of different exercises and even those 70s grip squeeze thingies, I don't know how they're called, I always end up going back to the most simple and in my opinion, the best functional exercise to strengthen your grip and develop your forearms, the classic dead hang. Even though our shoulders, arms, and hands are designed to brachiate after being forged for hundreds and thousands of years of evolution in order to survive and thrive in the wild, this is a skill that nowadays we've mostly lost. As a matter of fact, we've reached a point that most of us can't hold a single one-arm dead hang for more than 15 seconds. If you don't believe me, pause the video right now and give it a try. Not only is hanging a great exercise to develop grip strength, and your forearms, it's also a great exercise to keep your shoulders healthy. Dr. Kirsch, an orthopedic surgeon that specializes on shoulders, found that hanging can heal most shoulder problems and even prevent shoulder surgery up to a huge percentage. He's even written a pretty cool book about it, which I highly recommend uh, if you wanna give it a try for your own shoulder issues or if you're generally into reading these kind of things, I'll include the link below. So how do you get started? Well, our grip strength and our forearms, just like any other part of our body, need progressive overload. Step number one is practicing the double arm dead hang until you can hold it for a whole minute. This is a skill so ingrained in us that you can even practice it on a daily basis. What I recommend is starting with five consequent days per week. So training five days in a row and taking two days off. Go for three sets with one minute of rest in between. And especially in the beginning and your first set, don't push yourself so hard. Instead, aim for an amount of time that you can hold consistent across all three sets. Once you can hold a dead hang for a whole minute with both hands, move on to a single arm dead hang. At this point, you should be able to hold a single arm dead hang for at least 15 seconds. But if you find yourself still struggling with these, what I recommend is starting with assisted reps using either something like a rope or a towel or what I like to use personally, my gymnastic ring straps. When practicing single arm dead hangs, always start with a double arm dead hang. Hold that for anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds. You don't want to overdo it here. You just want to prepare your body. And after that, begin with your single arm dead hangs. Here, you want to alternate from one arm to the other and do a total of two sets per arm. And also ideally start with your weakest arm in the beginning and try to hold the same time for your strongest arm, even if you can hold a little bit more and do this until you find that your grip strength for both arms balances out. A good first goal for the single arm dead hang is reaching 30 seconds per arm. After that, you can either maintain your grip strength by practicing it at least two times per week, or you can set an even bigger goal by trying to hold a single arm dead hang for 60 seconds per arm. Plus, you can practice on more challenging surfaces. Regarding technique, start with an overhand grip, palms facing away from you, and also use a little bit of a false grip, meaning bringing your wrist a bit higher since throughout the set, your hand will start to slip. Also, once you start losing your grip, don't readjust since you'll lose muscle tension and in a way, you'll be cheating the exercise. Just allow your hand to slip, rest and start over again. Regarding scapula position, you want to use a passive hang as Dr. Kears recommends in his book, meaning you want your shoulder blades and shoulders to be relaxed. Also, having an antagonistic exercise, meaning a more opposite exercise to balance things out with your dead hangs is a good idea. So what I like to do with my one-arm dead hangs is superset them with pike push-ups. Now also remember that this is a skill that you lose pretty easy if you don't practice it. So make sure once you reach your goal with your one arm dead hang uh, or your double arm dead hang to maintain it by training it twice a week. Also keep in mind that grip strength is associated with overall health and things such as bone health, cardiovascular health and uh, lower mortality risk. Of course, you won't become immortal if you overtrain your forearms and your grip strength, but uh, it is something to keep in mind as you get older, since for every five kilograms of grip strength that you lose, your mortality rate increases 
by 17%. That was all. If you have any questions about today's topic, leave them below. And I'll next time, keep on training. By the way, how much time can you hold a single arm dead hang? Leave your best time below.